everything in this moment in Washington and in global politics in general, it just seems like we're at some sort of turning point. I'm not going to say what that turning point is. I don't think that we know, but it just feels like we are at some sort of inflection point in our history that it's really important to cover it in as granular detail as possible. Uh, hi, this is Gabe Rubin calling from the Wall Street Journal. I write a political analysis column called Washington Wire. Basically, it's about seven short items put into a single column, so no single issue gets like a ton of space. So Washington Wire has been around since the 1940s. It really predated and almost predicted that there would be this rise of sort of fast-paced newsletter, Twitter-type snippets of news where people demand information quickly and in sort of really concise nuggets. It essentially is supposed to have something for every reader of the Wall Street Journal. And getting to write a sort of holistic column like this allows me to have my hands in all sorts of different issues, which is really interesting for someone with eclectic interests. And I can be talking to the best experts in any particular field on any particular day. And the next day I can do something totally different. My process is interesting because it's a political analysis column. The goal is that everything in there is exclusive which means that there is a lot of coordination with my coworkers on getting the best news in there because it's half editing and half reporting. A lot of what we do gets left out ultimately. So much of our job is separating what is news from what is not news. A lot of it involves setting up newsmaker interviews. A lot of it just involves being in the right place at the right time, making sure that I'm up on Capitol Hill. As someone who grew up as sort of a politics junkie and reading the news all the time, I definitely still get a thrill from chasing down a senator in the halls of Congress. Having a column in print is really exciting and important to me because it connects me to the history of the paper. You're able to see that a lot changes in Washington, but a lot also stays the same. To see the print paper that comes out and comes to my doorstep on Saturday morning is a really thrilling thing for a journalist. It's this interesting balance of having to take the job extremely seriously, while at the same time having fun with it and realizing that what I'm doing is hopefully the first draft of history, which is particularly fun for me as a former history major. It's fun to sort of think that one day, perhaps a Wash U student will be reading my articles from this era and treating it as the first draft of history. Mm -hmm.